OK, I've got half a feeling I should say something really rude in this question because I think it was probably fairly uh, straightforward and no one will ever listen to this video. But let's see. I'd better restrain myself. Um, a car of mass 1300 kilograms is stopped by a constant horizontal braking force of 6.2 kilonewtons. Uh, we're asked to show the deceleration is about 5 meters per second squared. Show's crucial, so I'm going to write down the equation I'm going to use. I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to put the values in uh, on this occasion 6,200 because it's 6.2 kilonewtons divided by the mass 1300 kilograms. Remember, kilograms are the base units, standard units of mass in the SI unit, uh, and that turns out to be 4.8, 4.769 meters per second squared, which is approximately equal to 5. So, in these show questions, do give an answer with more significant figures than the value you're asked to show it's equal to. That helps to demonstrate to the examiner that you have done that sum, not that you're just writing down what they've told you. Then we get uh, an initial speed of the car, and we want a distance travelled by the car as it decelerates to rest. So I've got an initial velocity, it decelerates to rest, so I know a final velocity is zero. I know the acceleration from the previous part. I've written it down to three significant figures there. Um, again, I've got V, U, A, S. I haven't got T, not interested, so I'll look for the SUVAT equation, which hasn't got T in it. Uh, v squared is U squared plus 2AS. Rearrange that. V is zero. Um, so I'm going to take u squared from both sides, divide by 2a, and I end up with that. Lob the numbers in, and I end up at 76 meters. If you use the show value um, with uh, 5 meters per second, you get 73. That was ex accepted, because obviously the point of the show question is that if you can't work it out, you should be able to use that. Crucially, of course, that acceleration is negative. I've got an initial speed which if I take that initial speed to be positive then the acceleration is backwards acceleration is in the opposite direction it's going to be slowing it down it's a deceleration so the acceleration is negative I could of course have cho choose to make the uh, make you negative and a positive that what matters is they're in opposite directions um, opposite signs so that gets me to 76 metres. So that was uh, Mechanics Homework Booklet, question 27.